Hello everyone. We are in front of our building in Kuzguncuk. Those days I was 90 kilos. But now I'm 77 kilos with the help of Turkish food. I can button up my shirt and without mustache, I look much younger. And there are no more holes on my belt to tighten. As long as I know myself, I am trying to lose weight. I was trying to lose weight when I was a kid, when I was a boy, now as a man. When I turn into 30, I said, okay, before 35, fix this. How old are you now? I'm four months to 35, but we started four months ago. Were you hopeful that you would lose weight? Because I tried many times, I'm good at losing weight. But the thing is keeping that weight and not taking back. We will see that part in a couple of years or months. When was the last time you lost more than 10 kilos? Five, six years ago, something like that. Do you find it harder to lose weight? Nowadays? Yeah. Yes, it started to become harder, but I know men are luckier than women. Much luckier, I guess. Much luckier, because that's why I put 30 35 limits because after 35 like when you are closing to 40 it's Care getting harder like and harder <laughs> so i said okay deal with it before 35. do you have any rules for us while you lost this 13 kilos yes they are not too strict rules but yes i have some rules which starts with intermittent fasting I know it's something really popular nowadays, but for us, it's not something new because like even back in the time in the Ottoman Empire, as I learned from Rifika, having two meals in a day, like one is late breakfast and the other one is like early dinner. So you're eating more or less in daytime. Your blood sugar doesn't increasing, decreasing. Doesn't yeah. act like an economy. <laughs> yes, it's something we are familiar with. And I was never a really big breakfast person, but like working in here, everybody's cooking. I have to taste food almost any time. Which times did you eat? Noon, 12, something like that, until 8. Sometimes it goes to 9, something like that. But like before this, I was eating at 10 or 11 p.m., like pide, iskandar, burgers. So cutting that helps too much. You were a late night eater. Yes. Did you have a helper while not eating the breakfast until lunch? Of course, my biggest helper is coffee. I know I shouldn't drink with milk if you are intermittent fasting, but I don't like coffee without milk. I wasn't really strict about it. I know it's my blood sugar goes up when I have milk, but like it helps to delay your meal. You don't feel hungry when you have coffee. Is it better when it's lactose free? For me, no, it doesn't matter. I don't have gluten intolerant. I don't have lactose intolerant. I can eat anything. But yes, for you, I know lactose free or nut milks feels better. For example, some people put a spoon of coconut oil to their black coffee because having oil makes you feel more full. Plus, when it's lactose free milk, the calorie that that you get from it is a little less. Ah. Yes. The second tip is meal prepping. I'm here cooking all the day and I get home sometimes seven, sometimes eight. I don't cook. So I order lots of carbs and not good ones. And I'm eating that. So when you make meal prep, you know what to eat every day, every night. So you are planned. You are not ordering out. Helps both my economy and it prevents me from cheating. My third rule is like making personal, regional differences if you have a list. I was using ChatGPT, like you're giving data, like what you do, what you want to eat. And I was saying that I'm a Turkish chef, give me some Turkish recipes and Turkish ingredients. I want to make intermittent fasting and ChatGPT gives you a list. Making personal touch and adjust that list for my needs or what I want always helps because like ChatGPT gives me stuffed peppers. Usually you make it with rice, but in a diet you shouldn't eat rice twice or three times in a week. So changing it to lentil or bulgur, if I want fish, always giving me salmon. Changing into sea bass, something local, or changing fish recipe, not just like searing it in two minutes, but making like a cockroach with vegetables, tomato paste, making more tasty. This kind of tips always helps, again, from cheating. <laughs> cockroach is one of the most 
famous street foods in Turkey. Basically, it's intestines cooked on a grill, so they become a little crispy. They cut it and then again cook it with spices, herbs, sometimes with tomato, and like you eat it with a bread. It doesn't sound very attractive, but... People love it. We love it, why. yes. I prefer with mushrooms or fish. Yeah. <laughs> Last year, with this shirt, we made the vegan version of it, Furkan's mushroom cockroach. Fish cockroach is a Refika's 13-year-old recipe. First, you have tomatoes, lots of garlic. Then you put the fish in, some spices. You cook them, you are mashing them. It looks like cockroach, little pieces. You can eat with bread, but not on a diet. You can use some bulgur pilavı with it. Is there a special reason not using rice but bulgur? Because it's all about feeling longer and longer full. The bulgur has more fibers than rice or white bread. So it increases your blood sugar slowly and decreases slower. So like you feel full longer time and you get hungry slower. And you always say, I always prefer CS rather than ordinary bulgur. Mm -hmm. Why? CS is an ancient type of wheat rooted in Anatolia. I think it was 12,000 years ago, the first examples of CS found, and not I guess, in Göbekli modified. Tepe. Again, it's better for your blood sugar compared to ordinary bulgur. I had some lentil wraps. It's the same mixture of our lentil bread that you can find, but not like a cake, but like a lavash or crepe. So you can wrap, spread some hummus. Can you wrap that? The My one recipe. that I made. Yes, wrap. it was so tasty. The mixture was the same as your bread. Wow! So okay. it's not baked, but pan fried. You can find the recipe there. And then what do you put inside? Spread some hummus, or it can be beetroot hummus, and air fried some vegetables with of course, spices, if you want chickpeas or lentils, pickles, coriander goes really good with that, cucumber and some sesame seeds, and you wrap it, a great meal. Also look good, also feels good, and also healthy. Do you have recipes that we have on the channel huh. that you have already used? And it's a nice, not very much known diet idea. Hmm, of course. First comes to my mind is iron ashi. The idea is yogurt, always helpful when you're on a diet because it fills you full. And with legumes, chickpea or wheat, it becomes even better. And for the summer days, when it's hot outside, it helps to chill as well. Mujvar, we made it, it's like veggie fritters. You mix veggies with some egg, sometimes with some flour to thicken. You can put which veggie you want with herbs. We usually fry them, but you can always like put them in a tray, air fry, or you can bake in the oven. And it's always half full. You can freeze them and all pop. <laughs> and olive oil dishes like fava beans, artichoke. We all have their recipes in the channel. We are going to put the links in the description. You can find them. They're always helpful, tasty. Do you have any dessert ideas for us? Yes, dessert is a bit tricky because you have sugar. But I remember the chocolate ice cream with bananas. You freeze the bananas and like with some milk or yogurt and cocoa, maybe a spoon of sugar, some peanuts. It's better than eating a cake or souffle. Then you blend them, it thickens. You can freeze them again or you can eat just like that. Or you can use them as an ingredient for your coffee if you want something sweet, if you want like a slice of baklava or I want souffle. You can have them, but maybe eating less, maybe half an hour walking for that slice of baklava. So knowing that it's equals to 30 minutes of walking, you can eat less. There was a couple of things that are not like a rule, but things that helped me. For example, being responsible to another one, because being responsible to myself is not working for me. So like sharing this journey with you or with our Turkish audience is like something keeps me motivated. Okay, Burak, now you're eating this, but next week you are gonna tell what you did to people. So it slows me down, makes me stop eating. Here, Furkan, Öykü, Adile, they were like, are you sure you can do that? I, I don't think that you can lose weight. This is also another kind of motivation, not in a good way, but like, I'm gonna do it and you will see it. It's a, another kind of... I think that's something of... that doesn't help. People saying, oh, you shouldn't eat this. No, but like, like you... when people say that, for example, I feel I've done this before. They don't know me five years ago. <laughs> you will see that I will do. And then seeing their faces after that is kind of like, yes, it's revenge. 
but sometimes help use it. Sometimes we become too strict, like I'm not gonna eat even a slice of pizza, not a spoon of mayonnaise. It's not helping for me as well. For example, if I'm marinating a chicken, I'm using soy sauce. Yes, it's salty. In an ideal world, you shouldn't eat that. But like giving some room to that makes this journey sustainable. So you can be strict for two months, but after that, you're eating everything. You are going back to your routine, bad one, again. But like some little cheatings makes the journey longer, like a marathon. <laughs> for later on. <sighs> yes. <laughs> what are your fears? To keep myself as this. We were making a video for every two weeks in our Turkish channel. Maybe making a video in every month. It was losing weight, now it's keeping the weight. So we can use that. I think from what you say, it's promising someone, relating yourself to someone else or something else. Setting goals, maybe. Setting goals. And maybe I learn to be responsible to myself after 35 <laughs> and it changed. We don't know. I think that's gonna happen. As we well. haven't talked about exercise Did because you, we didn't have any you didn't, exercise you didn't exercise at all for the four months five times really like five walks slash runs i thought you bought know. those shoes to exercise yes i bought them but <laughs> when i was on vacation i went to walking three days in a week and then i said okay i need to buy myself sneakers because my old ones doesn't help. So I get a new one and after that I never walked again. <laughs> but it, I am sure like even for it three days in a week, making that walk changed a lot. Even having a half an hour walk in the morning, it gives you more energy during the day. It makes you feel happier during the day. So let's promise our audiences. Haydi bakalım. For a month. <laughs> for a month. Three times a week, morning walk, half an hour. Are you ready to promise? It's yes, I'm promising. Yes, that's As I did spirit. four months ago. Thank you very I much. I will keep you updated. Or I will just vanish. <laughs> Good morning. It's my fourth day in a row. I'm having a morning walk because I have a new friend. Responsibilities. That's it. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment sections. I'm gonna answer them. If you want me to share this journey with you in a couple of months, tell me that as well. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Take care. Bye bye.